like I said, this is the size of the head. So to get the size of your puppet, you need to fold a paper, a typing sheet in four. Okay. Then you take the scissors and you cut. You cut, then when you get it, you're doing the head of the puppet now. So it's a rectangle and the longer side is to the side and the shorter side is at the top. You then fold it in half. So when you fold it, it's in half. And the reason why you're gonna fold it because Faces, human bodies are symmetrical, meaning what's on the left is also on the right. Okay? And thus, you do it. Now you get a pen and you draw half of the face. Now, because you're using the typing sheet in quarters, the size of the head should be about half an inch from the top and half an inch from the bottom and half an inch from the side. In that way, your puppet head is going to be to the size that is required. Right, so you just take it and you It's easier when you just draw it. After you draw it, I don't think you can see this. I don't know where the marker is. Oh, purple purse. Okay, where's the purple purse? Purple purse. Purple purse. Purple purse. I'm looking for a purple purse. Oh, got it? I'm just making it brighter so you can get to see what I'm doing. Now, when you draw the half, this is what it's going to look like. Good. Now, when you open it, Nothing will be on this side, but when you fold it and you cut it now, see what you'll get. You'll get this from this. you'll get this, and this is the head, okay? So when you do yours, you have to follow this. You have to follow the cord of the typing sheet and leave it like no less than, no more than half an inch or a quarter of an inch from the, from the edges. So you'll get the size of the head. Okay, so when you get the size of the head, that's the size of the puppet that will take it to like about 14 to 16 inches, no more than 16 inches. If you make your puppet kind of small, it will not move. If you don't get the dimensions right, it will not move properly. The dimensions that I'm giving you is one that allows the puppet to move, to walk, to dance, to bow, and to wave its hand. All right? 
So this is it. And if I'm to take a measurement, your puppet head is roughly about five inches. Five inches. All right? When you think your puppet from this point to this point is roughly about five inches, four and a half, up to four inches. Good. Then I take the second sheet of paper, quarter. Now this time for the head, I turned it this way, long, with the, with the longer uh, sides to the side and the shorter one to the top. However, with the upper torso or the chest, I will put the shorter sides to the side and the longer side to the top. All right, and then I'll fold it in half. So why I'm doing this is because the shoulders are kind of really broad, right? So I'll establish the neck, the shoulder blade, and the upper torso. So I'm going to do half of it. And I'm drawing. And you'll get something like this. When you open it, you would only see the drawing on half of it. But when you fold it and cut, you'll get both sides looking similar because the chest, the body upper torso, a person's upper torso is symmetrical. And you don't have to spend a and you don't have to spend a lot of time. And you don't have to spend a lot of time. Hello, good evening. All right, here, here, listen, could you join the Thursday group link? All right, okay. Anybody here knows this link, this password and this thing for this what we on? Sorry, it's in the Tuesday group. All right, send it to team. Sorry, I forwarded the link. They all they have to do is to tap on the um the link and they will get into the meeting. All right, uh, Miss, the link is sent. All you have to do is tap on it and you'll get in. Tell me when you're in. Tell me when you're in because I may need to go over I started I, I was I started a little late but I'm and I'll start over okay so this is what you get when you cut right good good call me back if you can get through right this is what you get and if I'm to measure it now the head is like about five inches The upper torso is going to be like about four and a half inches by five and a half. Four and a half by five and a half. This is the size of the torso, the upper torso. Now, if you're making a male puppet, the torso, upper torso, right? Should be broad, like the mouth full of muscles. 
right? Then now I get the next sheet of paper. I mean, did somebody say she's in? Yes, sir. Oh, the others are joining? Yes, sir. Yes, All right, sir. Let, let me finish the lower torso and then I'll go back now to the head. So you'll catch oh. it from there. Okay. I'm recording and I'll try to post it on Moodle as soon as I'm done this, okay? You have the third sheet of quarter and you hold it like how you hold the top torso with the longer side to the top and the shorter side to the side and you fold it in half again. You may now make it the lower torso. Right, so I am um... okay. I got this. I made a it was two out, but I'm showing you that you can make mistakes, but you correct it when you are cutting. So now I'm going to cut the lower torso. Please note the size and the proportions of the body are going to be, the proportions are going to be a little bit more easier for you to manipulate. All right, so here now comes the lower torso. And this, and this also is Roughly about four and a half inches by five and a half inches. And this is the upper one. And now we have the lower one. Good. Good. Now the head. is this and how you do it. I'm going it over before I continue. I'm going to do the head again. Now with the head, the longer size it is to the side and the shorter side, the soft, shorter length is at the top and I fold it in half. And I draw the head. I'm doing it for those who just joined. And I just draw in a pencil or a marker. I draw in the market so you can see it but clearly. And then now when you open it, the drawing is only on half, but that is no problem. When you fold it back like this and you cut, you'll get a complete symmetrical face. I'm cutting. And when you open it, you get the face. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you must take a typing sheet, not the long one, the short one, and fold it in four.
and fold it in four and cut it. And this will determine the size of your puppet. You must fold it to get the appropriate size that would enable you to manipulate your puppet properly. All right, if you divert from this, you'll have to change the control rods. So what I'm giving you is this that will suit the control rod that I'm gonna show you later. So I cut it. Good, and I get a quart. So I've showed you how to do the head. Then the upper torso. This is the upper torso. And it is made from this. However, for the head, I turned it like this. But for the upper torso, I'll turn it like this. Fold it. I'll draw on half of it. I'll draw on half of it and I'll cut. And when I cut and I open it, you should get something like this. And roughly the size is four and a half inches from here to here and five and a half inches from here to here. You'll get a balanced puppet that you can easily string and easily manipulate. Good. Then I get, I have to now work on the lower torso. The upper torso will come here. The lower one will come here. You must make your puppets jointed and then join the parts like the upper torso with a flexible material. I would like to recommend cloth, which is easier to come by now. Okay? So to get the lower torso, I do the same thing. Get the paper, not like this, but I hold it with this longer, the longer sides up and the shorter ones to the side. And then I fold it in half again. And I draw. This here is the belly part. Or the waist part. This part here would be the waist. And then coming down, this part here would be the hip. And this here is where the legs will be connected. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Good. So I've done the tree and now I am going to do the legs. There's the foot. You take the paper, you fold it in half and then you turn it like this. Then you draw your foot. Now with puppets, the feet are big and there's a reason for that. When the feet are big, you can put more weight to keep it down. So now let's say this is the puppet feet. When you pack weight in it, uh, in it at the bottom here, you put the weight like you can put lead or rocks. Some people are trying sand. Okay, so you have the puppet legs like this, the feet like this, the two. When you pull the string up, this will raise. As soon as you loose the string, it will come down. When you pull this string up, it will raise. So you'll get the walking motion of 
a puppet. And that is where the weight comes in. So I will draw my puppet's foot, feet. I'm not seeing. Because you see now, you got to draw your own foot. <laughs> <laughs> I draw him a foot. I'm gonna show it to you because I'm doing it in bl in black. Oh, Peter! And then I show it. All right, this is what I'm going to get. So I put it big so you can stuff a lot of stuff in it to make it heavy. Good. Now remember, I told you how to fold the paper. You get a paper, you fold it, and then you turn it. And then you get this, then you cut now. This is what you're going to get because it's folded. Then now I am going to cut, cut this part. And I have the two legs, the two feet. One will go to the left and one to the right. And the puppy will. Got it? Now I'm going to do the hand. You get paper. The longer at the top. Excuse me, sir. Yes, miss, go ahead. Can you please tell me what is the length for the leg, the feet, sorry? No. The measurement. Look. Okay, you're going to. Hmm. You can get yourself in trouble if you just walk the length. About three inches by four inches. Three inches. So, sir, is the, is the part that you're using to fold to get the leg to get the leg? Yes, this is the quarter. And the foot as well. No, this is the foot. Yes. So that is what I'm folding. I hold it like this. Okay. The quarter. I fold it. So as long you cut your type in sheet in four, you can get a similar size and keep it along, no less. No more than let keep it a quarter inch from the edges of your your paper. You're gonna get it. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you the hand. Good. So I'm gonna fold it, but for the foot I turned it like this, but for the hand I'll keep it like this, with the longer edge. To the side and the shorter to the top and I'm going to draw the hand now the hand got fingers right but when you're doing the puppet you're just going to trace this outer line here and all of these things will be joined together you wouldn't see the individual fingers as yet
Now for the hand, you're gonna get this. When I fold the paper, I keep the length up. And now I'm going to cut. Now it's just the plain hand. There's no indication of fingers. And you don't necessarily got to do that with a simple marionette puppet. All right, and now I'm going to cut. You'll get a right and a left. And just for, you should get, uh, let's say, four and a quarter inch by two and a half inches, roughly. Four and a quarter by two and a half inches. And that's for the hand. Now, you've got the thumb. And then you've got four. One, two, three, four. And you can put in the hand. And some of you ladies, if it's a, 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 a female puppet, you can take false nails. You can take false nails and put it and decorate it. So these are the basic ones. Now we've got to get the joints. The leg, like the, 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 the arm, and then this part here, we've already established the hand. And for the foot, after the lower torso, we've got to get the tie. And then we got to get the legs. And you use paper and you cut it to two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. And for the hand, and for the hand, And for the hand, it's the same thing. So you get a strip of paper. All right, you get a strip of paper and you measure two and a half inches. For the hands, you would need four, two and a half inches. And for the feet, you will need four, two and a half inches. For the hand, For the hand, two of them will be cut like this with a little four to five degree cut. And this will fit on the arms. Like this. Okay? For the feet, you do not cut anything. You leave them like this. Now I'm going to go on to the assemblage of your puppet. 
when you assemble the puppet, you'll get the head and then you leave a half inch space and then you get the upper torso. You leave a half inch space and then you join, you'll get the lower torso. Then for the hand, well, my, it's a piece of uh, wood and it's not wide enough. You got the hand and let me put on with my hand there. That are left. Hmm. Okay, and the hand. And well, you can visualize the other side being like that. Then for the feet now, you've got, and then you've got the feet. When you're actually making your puppet, your feet is going to be not, it cannot be attached like this to the puppet. You have to turn it like this. Look at your feet and see what is projecting on your feet. It has to be turned like this. Okay. Am I clear with that? Now, sir, yes. Sir, yes, the joint parts are half, are half inch inch. Yes, half an inch. Don't make it too big because every it's going to. Every joint part. Yes. Right? Don't make it too big. Now, let me talk about the materials that you can use to make your puppet. And one of the first ones that I'm going to say, because it's foam or sponge. And if you got, you know, if your mommy rich and your daddy rich and you drive in motor car, you can buy that. You have to buy, if you're purchasing foam or sponge, you have to buy one inch thick. One inch thick. Right? And cut two of the same. Cut two head, two upper torso, two lower torso, two everything with the one inch foam. But foam or sponge is not the only thing you can use. I have perforated cardboard. You know what's this? See, do I have another piece? Yes. Now you get, if you buy a TV lately or your neighbor buy a TV lately, beg you for the box. Some of you may know good biscuit boxes, but you're getting biscuit now because it's COVID. But you can go to the shop and ask them for a cartoon made from perforated cardboard. And you can use this. Now, for the head, you have to cut at least eight. For the uh, upper torso, eight for the lower torso eight pieces from the perforated cardboard you don't have to buy it you could beg for it eight pieces of everything then with the eight pieces you take four pieces and you paste it bam four piece hey and then you take the other four and you paste it hey so you got two sets pasted four, four cardboard. So they're going to give it the thickness that you need. All right? They're going to give you the thickness that they think. Some people coming up with, they only cut in two and then they paste 
you know, paste cotton wool, you know, to make it more fluffy and more to two inches. You can do that. But whilst you pop it dancing and anything fall out, I'm going to fall out your grade. Okay, sir. The last time you said paste is six pieces in the cabbie last time. Six? Three, three, yeah. All right. Oh, what size? If you're using TV box, you got to use six. If you're using milk box or biscuit box, you got to use eight. Because it's not thick enough. If you get it thick, measure how many you have to cut to get one inch. If you have to cut four, a quarter inch, I didn't want to go there. If the perforated cardboard is quarter of an inch, how many do I have to cut to get one inch? Four. Good, four for the left four. side, four for the right side. If you use, that is if the cardboard is quarter of an inch thick. And the only cardboard that is quarter of an inch thick is the TV cardboard the refrigerator cardboard, the washing machine cardboard. So one person say, I said six, now I'm saying eight. But if it takes six to get you one inch, that is correct. If it takes you eight to get an inch, that is correct. So you have two cardboards, an inch thick. Paste it to an inch thick. So four, paste it to one and four paste it to the other. Now I'm going to show you how the puppet joints are joined. But before I do that, you've got the former sponge. You've got the cardboard, and the cardboard looks like it's taking a lot of time, and nobody else wants to spend a lot of time. You can make it out of wood. You can make it out of planting and banana dry sucker and dry leaves. You can make it out of coconut fiber. Whatever you think. Please be innovative. But everybody is at, uh, what is it? Everybody got deadlines to meet and you don't want to go long. You're looking for the easiest way. But please note, I got my bad people that's bad, bad mouth me. Don't go and tell anybody that the man got you buying expensive foam or sponge for doing work. Don't do that. I don't deserve it. Right? Some people are using cotton cloth, stuffing it with, 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 with cotton wool or with other cloths to get it, as long as you do whatever you want to do. But when it's done, it must have this similar size. All right, that I gave you just now. How do you join the puppet? This is a this is a piece of, a piece of paper, but when you are doing the actual joining of the parts of the puppet, you will use cloth, a thick cloth, like an old denim pants, and you would fold it. You make it an inch, and you fold it in, and you fold it in half, lengthwise, and then you take it. Now you got to get one for the head, for the upper torso, and for the lower torso. Then you have to get another one 
for the arms. This arm, the, 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 well, maybe if it's left or right, but you just check yourself. For one arm, good. And you can stick out like this. I'm gonna do it on the on on the on the um template, and then you got to get another one for the other hand. Then now for the foot, you got to get two for the foot, and it can't be too short. It got to be long to span the length of the feet and the length of the hand. And this is what you do with the cloth after you cut out the one inch foam. If you don't have one inch foam and you have half inch foam, how many you gotta cut to get the one inch? Two. Two. So two plus two is equal to four. You see how math adding up? Wish we could have get money like that. <laughs> hmm. Now, you got the jointed puppet here. And let's say this is the cloth. The first one comes to the top here. In the middle. And it comes down. And you see how it's held? Well, let me take it down so you get. You see how it's held? This is pasted on, on either four sheets of four pieces of cardboard pasted together or two sheets of foam paste um two or one two pieces of one inch foam and let me see if i can get the torso it's okay now with the torso after you paste it here you take the other foam the other one inch foam and then you paste it over here you see? So the rib or the cloth, rib coming down now. And because it's the thing, it will make the puppet joints move. All right? Now for the hand. Yes, Mr. Man. Good evening. Hand. Sorry to interject, but one quick question. Yes. Just to be clear, are the finished product should be two inches of thickness. Yes, yeah, two inches back, of one thickness. In yes. Thank you. Two inches of thickness. Then now you got one coming down for the arm here and the other one for the arm there. Now you have to paste the arm one and the foot one before you paste the two torsos together like this. You got to paste it, you got to paste it here. And for the legs now, you got to paste it here, one here and one here. And then these things will be pasted on that. So when you finish pasting up, the puppet will be, all, all the joints on the puppet will be able to move. Okay? Sir, please, excuse me, sir. Please show me back, show us back how to join the legs. All right. Now you got the lower torso. You'll take the cloth and you put it here. You take the other cloth and you put it here. And then, you take, and then you take the one with the two in there coming down for the legs and then this covers over. Right? And then you get it. Now, when you come into the feet, you got to change it. You can't paste the feet like this. You got to paste the foot. What the foot? Yes. Forward. I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can get forward. Like this. For those who are still not clear, think about your nose. And when you look down, you see your feet pointing out. Likewise too, the puppet nose. And then when you look down, the feet must be pointing out. All right? Good. So that is it for the joint of the puppet. Any questions before I go on to the stringing of the puppet. Oh, it's Saturday night. 
and I have 71 students on. Thank you very much for joining this class. It was not my intention to have you, you know, occupying a Saturday night, but we're coming to crunch time and we got to get all of these assignments in. And I can only do the extra mile if you do the extra mile. And thank you for that. So any Mr. questions? Mr. Yes, go ahead. You're welcome, sir. Huh? You are welcome. Oh, I am welcome. Good. Mango Mr. walk. Welcome. Here now. Mango walk be, waited for me. You have to be real special for you to get me. Girl. <laughs> I don't fall for sweet talk. <laughs> because you say, well, you're talking to me nice, nice, nice behind your back, behind my back. Hmm. If talk name could have killed, I would have done dead a thousand times. Right? Excuse me, Mr. Khan. Yes, miss. Sir, the overall, the length of the puppet must be between 15 to 18 inch, inches, right? Um, Just confirm. No, not 18. I would say 14 to 16 inches. Okay, sir. Now, it's not a hard and fast rule. It's just when you're making your puppet, how you want your puppet to look. If you want a short John puppet, it's not going to be 16. All right? So the measurements that I give you is just to guide you to attain a puppet height of like I'm about 14 right to 16 inches. If you go over to 18, I don't have a problem with I that. Right? I don't have a problem with that. So now I want to go with the stringing of the puppet. And if anybody is vampire or whole hide, they can't stand this cross. Hmm. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you for responding. You can respond. So I don't feel like I'm talking to a bunch of tombstones in the cemetery. <laughs> now, this is the control rod for the puppet, and it's a simple one. It looks like a cross. Mm -hmm. The length of the longest portion, which I would call the vertical. Should be around 15 inches. The length should be 15 inches. The horizontal, which is the shorter portion, is eight inches. So you have 15 inches and then you have eight inches. Good. Now the top from here to here should be four inches because from here to here is approximately four inches. And from here to here, is approximately four inches. So you'll get a balance. All right. And then now if I count the, 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 the tips that you're gonna you have in one, two, three, four. You would need now to string. Use a string, okay, that is flexible. Polythene can work, but sometimes polythene, you know, got its own way. What is better is nylon. But if you don't have that, you must have your child kite frame and ball up. You must. Even if you went and fly kite uh, last Easter, this Easter, you must have it. If you don't have it, ask your neighbor. If they got the only thing, if I was your neighbor, I would have charged you plenty. 
but not all neighbors stay like me neighborship. So you get one that is there. Now I am going to show you how all the strings on the puppet is connected. This is the control rod. You move this, you jerk this, this is the control that will make the puppet do what I asked the puppet to do. Walk. Hmm. Wave hands. Bow. And say bye-bye. And wave his hands. All right, so I'm going to start with the one that is at the intersection of the cross, which is here. Right? And this one here is the shortest one. And when you connect the puppet to this and you hold this rod, the puppet will stand. It will look like if it's standing up, but it can't do nothing more than stand up. So the one, and it comes here, it's connected here. Now you have the cloth coming up and then you connect it to the cloth. So this one will be here. And when you hold the rod up, the puppet will stand up because all of the joints are connected with the cloth. Okay? But it can't do nothing more than stand up. It can't wave its hand. It can't bear. It can't bow. It can't walk. But the only thing it could do is stand up. And this is the twine what is going to make it stand up. Or the string that will make it stand up. Then now, I come to the longer part of the vertical a wood. And from the intersection, it's at the back. So you can have it where to put it. Huh? Please excuse me, sir. Um, what is the length of the um, intersection? The Okay, the, the length of, of the of the uh, of the vertical is 15 inches. Thanks for uh, asking. If you're not clear, ask. I'm here to help you. And the horizontal. No, sir, I'm not, I'm not huh? asking about the, the I'm not asking about the part that you're holding. I'm asking about the, the twine that you have to tie the puppet with. Now, if you tie like me, you could use a yard. If you're short, use half yard. When you, that's a good question. I'm only joking. I know. But, but when you hold the puppet, it should be to your waist. When you hold the control rod, it should be to your waist with the puppet okay. on the ground. So whether you're tall or short and you have it at this length, right? You'll be able to manipulate it. Now, please note, for the puppet to move, you have to move. If you stand up like a dead person, the puppet will be dead. To get a rhythm or a tune, and then you move. Woo, 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 woo. Good? So we got back to this other one. So this back one here now is connected so the lower torso of the puppet, the back, not the front, the back. Right? And to get that, it is connected here, here. Don't tie it in between the, the joint, the cloth. Come down, get a fat needle, and board the foam or the cardboard and connect it to the back. 
just here. Good. So when you connect this now, the puppet can stand with the middle string, right? And it can, if you lean it forward, it can go like it did in. But here is where it has to be connected. Okay? So that's it for that. I still have two more sets of strings. Now the hands, we got a pair of hands. And we got a pair of, what is it, foot or feet? Feet. So the front of the control rod has a double string. And this will connect the left hand and the right hand. Okay, I'll show you where it's connected. This is the hand. It is connected not at the tip here or the joint or the cloth. It comes down a little and you bore a hole here and you thread it. So the hands will be, the thread for the hands will be here. You have a left hand and a right hand. Now, when you are treading the left hand and the right hand, don't just put it down. You have to get it like this. You see, one is a little higher than the other one, not too much. One is a little higher than the other one. So when you tilt this now and you take it forward, it will move like if the hand is going left, right, left, right, the government boots. All right, so this is the first two. What some people do is instead of tying the hand to this, they tie the feet. Right? It, it's up to you. The feet is left now, and you have this and this. And because the feet is symmetrical, got a left one, got a right one, you need also two. And it goes down to the left. One goes to the left foot, and the other one to the right foot. All right? And again, just like how you tied the hand, Staggered, you do the same thing for the feet. One of them will go flat down on the surface, flat. And then the other one would be like this. So, and you see, I'm creating a rhythm to move my hands. And likewise, too, you have to create a rhythm to move your puppet. Okay? Yes, sir. Now, where you string it on the foot? On the hands, where the hands there? Oh, the hand falling off. The hand is strong here. For the feet now, look at me. It is strong here. So when you lift it up, this whole thing will go here. Not here. Not here. But here. Right? And there. How many of these you have? Now I'm going to put, are you seeing, can you see this? I'm trying to put a thumbtack where, you see where the thumbtack is? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, this thing hot in my hand. May you never push it no more. Uh huh, okay. No, we pay this one very far. You don't put nothing here. One here. This is the moral. Good. All right. I got Miss Natasha to put on the, the thing. She hand hard. So you see where the pins are? Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is to like take your camera, take, take a shot of this. Oh, I see a message come up. I don't read it just now. And like I say, if you're frightened, your fall steeds fall out, send me a message. Good, so that is it. And the control rod, 15 inches, eight inches from here to here, four inches. This here is for the hand. These two is for the feet. This one in the middle here is for the head. And this one here is for the waist, below the waist, like the hip. Okay? Good. Thank you, sir. Now, when you string your puppet, get a rhythm and move it. You may have to adjust, make the string shorter or make it longer. It's something that is tedious. All right. And remember, you have to make the puppet walk in. And you have to do it live so we could see. You understand? Walk in. Walk in. Bow. Wave hands. And dance. All right. Good, I've kept you here. Oh, I, I see some. Hi, sir. Okay, good. All right, somebody wants me to show them the torso. It's folded. It comes down. The legs are going to be fitted here. And when you cut and you open it, this is how it is. Good. All right. Some of you got a plan where you're cooking for Father's Day. And I saw uh, I saw on you on, on Facebook when they celebrated Mother's Day is a big fat chicken they got for Mother's Day. And when it's Father's Day, when they're celebrating Father's Day, guess what they're celebrating with? Chicken foot. So I'm not gonna keep you any further. Some of you like to sleep early. Chicken. 
foot sore. Sorry, I get nice out. All right, good question. For the foot, you attach it to the front of the puppet. And for the hands, you attach it to the front of the puppet. This one here is to the back of the puppet, but all of the others are attached to the front. All right. So, any questions from anyone? Now, when we meet on Tuesday, I'll take a list of all the people who had difficulty. Excuse and, me, sir. Who, yes. Can you please go over the attachment of a string? Okie dokie. On this. Yes, sir. Whether if it's back or front. Yes, this sir. This one here is at the crown of the head. In the middle of the head, that should be. This one. The middle of the head. You see my ball head here? I point it to the middle. Good. The other one is at the back. The one that you're touching to the hip is at the back. The hands, you're attaching it to the front. And for the feet, you're attaching it to the front. Thank you, sir. Thank you, right. sir. It's 830 and Mango Walk is waiting for me. My friends are there waiting. This trip Somebody. is waiting for me too. I, who waiting for you? This trip at Giffland Mall. You know, I was planning to go there <laughs> and I changed my <laughs> mind. <laughs> All right, everyone. Now on Tuesday, we meet for the Tuesday class on Thursday. But those of you on Thursday class can join in. Those from you from Tain can join in the Tuesday class. Now, some of you are still to do your singing. Please be prepared to do it on, on Tuesday. Okay? Some of you had difficulty with the quiz. I'll deal with that on Tuesday. And Mr. I'll Khan, you it. mentioned the quiz. Are we having a second quiz? Or that's the only quiz we're going to have? Is who talking there? Miss Barker from Thin Sword. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Now, some people started it and then get blocked out. Some people started but did not finish because the time ran out. Some people did not start it because they weren't certain. And I did say, if you're not certain, do not start the test. And the time went and they didn't do it. Now I need to check and see what is the score like automatically if you have failed this test by right, you should receive a makeup test, especially if you are a final year student, a final semester student. All right, so I would look at it and see what is happening. Oh, I got more messages. All right.
right. Um, all right. I'm re um, the, the messages are sent to me direct, and I I won't read them aloud. All right. I need to answer this. Now here, okay. Hmm? All right. Um, some of you are going to purchase your materials on Monday. And if you have to do it, the presentation on Tuesday, It would be really difficult. Yes, sir. Monday we're getting paid. That's why we go buy it Monday. What happened? Younger husband? Younger in mother? House. Younger your father? Husband, your husband in there also. Eh, eh, what happened? Younger got a little outside help? <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. I understand. All right. That is a valid thing that Monday all you're getting paid. So it's plenty, y'all. It's for um, for Turkine alone. It's hundred and twenty students. If I pass on Tuesday, can you finish it for Thursday? Yes, sir. Thank you. My yes, yes, sir. My nanny money will come in the bank. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is who talking about money? Is who talking about money? Miss <laughs> Rara. <laughs> Here, you check around Guyana. All them Ram Roop. All them Ram Roop. Hmm. Got money. Damn poor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, listen. You need to convince me that you're working. Three or four people have already sent me a WhatsApp picture on how the puppet is coming. Please feel free to do that. Now, students are many. And they know many, many things. And half of the many, many things are wrong when it comes to this course. If you're not certain about something, you go to your colleagues and they got so much of big brains that they can tell you big things. But if you got common sense and you apply your common sense, you can call the lecturer. Now, some rumor going wrong that the lecturer don't flex. And that's why half all you are afraid to call me. It's your fault if you don't get a good grade. So I am kindly appealing. And I must say that I am a, I'm a serious tiger. Yes, tiger. But I'm a tiger with no teeth. Sir, that's why it's wear the mask. Aye. Yes. Yes, that's why I wear the mask because I ain't got no teeth. <laughs> you understand? So, if no matter how tigerish you think I am, I am a tiger with no teeth. And if a tiger in the jungle has no teeth, it's a lame tiger. No, sir, you're lame. You're a fun tiger. A fun tiger. Good. Well, uh, okay. All right. Take it back. I'm not a lame tiger. Oh, yeah, but a tiger ain't got no teeth. He's <laughs> a, <laughs> a fun tiger. <laughs> you, you could party, you could box, you could talk in him, you could do anything. Right? So, all right. Time going and people dropping out, and I got to go. 
because you see how much I care about all you. I'm not home because home giving me problems with blackout. I came to town. Right, so. All right, thank you for joining. I'm around to ask, you can ask me questions, send me voicemails, voice messages and what's not, and we get it going. All right, thank you, and I'm going to end okay, the meeting. Okay, sir. If there are no further questions, I'm going to end the meeting for all. Good night, good night. Good to night. Those Happy Father's, Father's Day, Day, sir. Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. Oh, thank Day. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm having a ball. I'm having a ball. I'm having a ball. Uh, but y'all can call me if sure. you get in trouble. Right? Because I am like all oh, your father too. Good? So take yes, care. Bye-bye, yes, everyone. Sir. Bye, sir. Bye-bye.